Often mistaken for a Jack Russell or a Fox Terrier, Danish Swedish farm dogs are gentle and calm dogs known for their outgoing and open nature with almost everyone. They're also known to be great companion dogs that love to work and always enjoy a challenge. If you're in search for a small and lively canine companion that can easily double down as a guard dog, then the Danish Swedish farm dog could exactly be the one you're looking for. These dogs are active, lively, intelligent, and extremely curious, making them excellent family companions. If you're wondering whether the Danish Swedish farm dog would fit in perfectly in your family and want to learn more about the breed, well, you've come to the right place. In this video today, we'll be looking at the top 10 interesting facts about the Danish Swedish farm dog. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Danish Swedish farm dog owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The history of Danish Swedish farm dog dates all the way back to the early 1700s. These dogs are thought to be originated from either pinchers or terriers. However, the information on the breed's exact origin and heritage still remains unknown. What we do know is the origin of the breed is true to its name as the breed comes from eastern Denmark and southern Sweden. The original purpose of these dogs was to hunt rodents, herd livestock, and service guard dogs and family companions. These guys were widely used on the farms of the countryside of Denmark, Schleswig Holstein, and Scania. The Federation Sinologic International recognized the breed in 2009, and the American Kennel Club entered the breed into their Foundation Stock Services program in 2011. It was only recently in the year 2021 that the breed was moved to the AKC Miscellaneous Group from the Foundation Stock Service list. Number 2. The Reason Behind Their Name Originally, the breed was named the Danish Pincher, and these dogs were a natural part of the Danish rural life. The breed was also referred to as the Old Danish Fox Terrier or Scanian Terrier, although today they are regarded as a pincher rather than a terrier. They were also simply called the Rat Dog. These dogs were widely used on farms as ratters and herding dogs in the then countryside of Denmark, Schleswig Holstein, and Scania. But it all changed when the breed's numbers started declining rapidly since more and more farmers quit their job to become industrial workers. Because of this, the breed almost went extinct. Up until the late 1980s, there was no standard for the breed. In an attempt to save the breed from extinction, the Danish and Swedish kennel clubs made a joint effort to find the remaining dogs and set a new breed standard in the year 1987. The breed standard for this canine was written by two breed judges from the two nations, Ole Stamsker from Denmark and Lars Adheimer from Sweden, which is how the breed got its iconic name. Number 3. Their Appearance The Danish Swedish farm dog is often mistaken for a Jack Russell or a Fox Terrier due to the similarities in their appearance. These dogs are small and compact and almost rectangular in a build with a deep, wide chest. They have an average height of 13 inches and an average weight of 17 pounds. The head is small, triangular with a wide, slightly rounded skull and a well-emphasized top that tapers to the end tip of the nose without the pointy look. It is the well-emphasized top and the triangular shape of the head that makes the Danish Swedish farm dog differ from the Fox Terrier. Their tails are either long or naturally bobbed, but never docked. The coat is shiny, hard, short, and smooth in texture, with white as a dominating color and one or several patches of different color combinations. Some of the coat colors include white and black, white and brown, white and fawn, and white and tan. The coat may also be tricolored and some may also have tan markings. Number 4. They are extremely friendly dogs The Danish Swedish farm dog is a high-energy bundle of joy. These dogs are known for having an excellent temperament. They're extremely family-oriented and would make great family dogs. Just make sure that you don't plan to leave them alone for long periods of time. They do need the companionship of humans or other animals. The breed also gets along well with children and other dogs, but still, the interaction between your dog and your children must always be supervised. Danish Swedish farm dogs are extremely curious and are always outgoing and open to new scenarios. The breed can, however, be a little reserved with strangers. These dogs will sound the alarm by barking whenever they feel threatened. Otherwise, they make great companions for a hike or maybe a walk in the park. With early socialization, these dogs will also easily befriend strangers they don't perceive as threats. Number 5. They have a high prey drive It is true that the Danish Swedish farm dogs get along exceptionally well with people and other dogs. However, small animals such as guinea pigs, birds, hamsters, and rabbits are an exception. As they were originally bred to be rat hunters, these dogs have a high prey drive that gets triggered whenever they see small animals. These guys can be tenacious in their pursuit of rodents, snakes, birds, and even grasshoppers. With early socialization as puppies, the breed can however be trained to get along with cats. Training your Danish Swedish farm dog from an early age may also help in keeping their prey drive in check, at least to some extent. 
However, if you have small pets in your house, be extra careful, as your dog is more likely to chase after them and hunt them down, which is a behavior pretty similar to terrier breeds. All in all, the Danish Swedish farm dog is an excellent household companion for families, kids, and other pets as long as they're larger than a bunny. Number 6. They are easily trainable The Danish Swedish farm dog is an active breed that is always eager to please. They're intelligent and curious dogs that pick up new tricks easily. As such, these dogs are easy to train. However, the early stages of training might prove a tad bit difficult because of their high energy level. With enough time and experience though, training these dogs becomes quite easy. Just make sure the training is fun and non-repetitive. And as with any dog, positive reinforcement works best on these dogs too. Praise and treat your Danish Swedish farm dog whenever they complete their task. If given the proper training, these dogs will excel in agility, lower coursing, and other dog sports. Additionally, socialization as puppies is extremely important for these farm dogs. They have a high prey drive and are quite vocal, so early training will help your pup in interacting with other humans and animals along with reducing their barking tendencies to only when necessary. Number 7. They have high exercise needs The biggest issue when caring for a Danish Swedish farm dog is their high exercise needs. Since they were bred to be hunters and herders, these dogs need lots of exercise to remain content. They need at least 60 to 90 minutes of exercise, which may include brisk walks, running, hunting, and separate playtime. If you can't provide the breed the physical and mental stimulation it needs, then it could make living with one of these guys pretty difficult, considering the breed's high work drive. Under-exercising a Danish Swedish farm dog could lead to destructive behavior around the house like chewing furnitures and digging holes in the yard. The breed loves to work and enjoys any new challenges. As a result of their high energy and work drive, these dogs excel in a variety of dog sports and activities including obedience, agility, fly ball, scent work, lure coursing, and tracking. So if you're planning on getting a Danish Swedish farm dog, just be ready to adapt to the exercise needs of this dog. Number 8. Their Grooming the Danish Swedish farm dog is an easy dog to groom, care for, and maintain. As low-maintenance canines, weekly brushing and occasional bats are all that are needed to keep them clean and looking their best. They do shed seasonally, so you'd want to brush your dog at least twice or thrice a week during the shedding season. Other than brushing the coat, clipping your dog's nails is also important. Clip their nails as needed before they get too long, usually once or twice per month. They should not be clicking against the floor. Check your dog's ears occasionally and clean them gently with wet cloth in order to prevent debris buildup and infection. And remember to brush their teeth every day. If not possible every single day, brush their teeth a minimum of three times per week. Number 9. Their Health According to the AKC, the average lifespan of the Danish Swedish farm dog is 11 to 13 years. Over the years, the Danish Swedish farm dog has proven to be a healthy breed free of commonly reoccurring health issues, genetic or otherwise. Good breeders utilize genetic testing of their breeding stock to reduce the likelihood of diseases in their puppies. Still, it's always a good idea to keep an eye out for some health issues such as periodontal diseases, patellar luxation, and bloat. With proper and regular care though, most of these health issues can be avoided. Your Danish Swedish farm dog, like all dogs, should have routine checkups and vaccines to keep them healthy. Number 10. Their Diet and Nutrition the Danish Swedish farm dog does well on high-quality diet formulated for small, active dogs. Any good quality dog food is recommended. As a warning, you should keep an eye on what your dog eats. This is a hunting breed, so they may choose to eat small games such as rodents if they're allowed outdoors without supervision. It is an individual choice as to what you feed your dog, but it's best if you formulate a meal plan together with the help of your veterinarian or breeder. The breed's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change into the senior years. Your veterinarian or breeder will help you determine the frequency and portions of the meals to keep your dog full and energetic all day long. In addition to all of that, make sure you have clean and fresh water available at all times for your Danish Swedish farm dog. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Danish Swedish farm dog. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these friendly and outgoing dogs, let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.